Hello. Uh, well, we are here today to for a kickoff for the Monael project. Um, Monael is a German acronym, uh, which stands from Mobilität nachhaltig über das uh, Lebenszyklus, means mobility, sustainability, and life cycle assessment. So it's a, it's, a, it's a project where we have a holistic view on the mobility aspect, clean mobility, starting from the provision of energy by solar mini-grids, uh, continuing over um, mobility offers, so mobility vehicles uh, adapted to the needs of the country here in Ghana, and also always having a look at the total impact on the environment, meaning the complete CO2 footprint of the whole concept, from the provision of energy to the mobility to end of life of the components. The project started um, about with an idea about two years ago. The idea was uh, to make the mini-grid, which has been planned for Don Bosco, smart. And by developing this idea, we said it would be very, very good to be able to integrate e-mobility in this project. So we started working in uh, Germany with, uh, together with the University of Bochum on this idea. At the beginning, my company, Green Power Brains, and the University of Bochum. And uh, while we were developing this project, it was quite clear from the beginning on that we need a strong partner in Ghana. And this strong partner must have know-how in uh, terms of um, solar energy, solar mini-grids and teaching. This is a very important aspect of our project. We want to leave know-how here. We want to create know-how with partners in Ghana. That's why Don Bosco was the perfect partner for this, having already a mini-grid in, in place and having all the interest to create knowledge and create solution to be kept in the country and to be passed on their teachers and their schools here. Uh, another partner is the University of Energy and Natural Resources in Sunyani. So we have also a partner, Don Bosco is a partner on vocational level and the, on, the, on the university level, on the academic level, it's the University of Energy and Natural Resources in Sunyani who is strongly supporting this project. In Germany, as I said, it's the company Green Power Brains and the University of Bochum. And then within the University of Bochum is the Sustainable Technology Lab, headed by Professor Dr. Semich Severengis, which is a lab, um, as the name says. That's the lady, the lady who started the... That's not the lady who spoke is Nora Schelte. She is a research associate at the lab of uh, sustainable technology and the head is the professor who signed the, the, MOU. the MOU with Don Bosco correctly, Professor Dr. Severengis. Um, what they do in the lab is basically hand-on development of sustainable technology with a strong focus on the user. It's important to put the user in the center of the uh, development, of technical development. So the technical solutions have to adapt to the user and not the other way around. And this is what they are doing in Bochum. Okay. On uh, the side here we have two universities, the UENR in Sunyani and the University of Bochum, with roughly about eight, 9,000 students each. Of course, not all the students will be involved, of course, because they are many projects and, and, and they're also doing other very interesting things. But um, here we have a, in Germany a group of about 20 students at the lab who very actively semester after semester work on this project. And in Sunyani we started integrating uh, Ghanaian students in the work of German students in Bochum. This is something that we have to thank COVID this is one of the positive sides, is that uh, working on distance has become normal on everybody.
few years ago, Zoom was the exception. Now, in Germany, we all work on Zoom. So if people sit in Munich, in Berlin, and in Bochum, or if they sit in Accra and Sunyani, it makes no difference. And this is why we are able now to, to integrate Ghanaian students into the technical development, into uh, social as developing of social aspects and answers to this project. So how many Ghanaian? At the moment we have uh, two students who started as a pilot uh, the, the, the working together with the students in Bochum. And this is just to test how this work will be. We have in the future uh, the plans to expand this and not only we are working, we have a signed memorandum of understanding between the University of Energy and Natural Resources and the University of Bochum as well, the same as here with Don Bosco, uh, stating the common uh, wish to develop uh, common curricular activities to uh, develop uh, guest lecturing offers in Bochum and in Sunyani and especially to initiate a student exchange between Bochum and Sunyani. So our hope is that very soon students from Sunyani will be able to go for a semester or two semesters to Bochum and the same can be done by students from Bochum. The other things we do is uh, publishing papers together, academical papers together and working on uh, thesis, like master thesis or bachelor thesis together on this common project. So the MOU we saw signed today is between the University of Bochum and the Don Bosco Solar and Renewable Energy Center here in Sunyani, in, uh, excuse me, in Accra, in Tema. Um, this is one MOU. Uh, there is a second MOU signed by the University of Bochum and the University of Energy and Natural Resources in Sunyani, which is the second partner in this, or it's a partner at university level in this project. So we have two MOUs here which are giving the base for development of uh, mutual common projects. So this MONAEL is the first one. We, we start with this. Uh, we start getting to know each other. And uh, there is a strong wish from all sides to continue. As a matter of fact, we are uh, working and I think I'm not, I don't have the official uh, 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 green light for that, but we have a second phase now of the Mona L project, which has been planned and uh, approved by uh, the uh, founding organization. Maybe one, one thing about the founding organization for this project, yeah. which is uh, important because it enables our... Well, you know, the, the founding organization uh, now puts a, a focus on uh, developing partnership between Europe and Africa. So on creating, um, well basically on co-creation. So it's, it's about, really about working together and sharing the knowledge because Africa is, has a great knowledge in terms of decentralized energy production, mini-grid solar energy in practice. And this is something that from which European partners can benefit, the same way uh, African partners can benefit from the experience of European partners in terms of uh, solar energy, of grid feeding and whatnot. The funding agency for this project is the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature and Reactor Safety. And the initiative, it's called the Export Initiative uh, environment technology and it's aiming as I said to create strong partnership partnerships between African and European actors institutions not only universities but also NGOs and like Don Bosco uh, at university level at uh, vocational school level but also uh, including private company the private sector so we're looking really at it and very wide uh, number of partners here coming from different backgrounds 
that can really cover many aspects of this project. Okay, so uh, it's a for each partner it's a win situation. So you can you can add a win. It's not a win-win. It's a win-win-win, and we continue one win for each partner. Because uh, if you look from the Don Bosco perspective, uh, here in this solar and renewable energy training center, uh, Don Bosco teachers are being trained international Don Bosco teachers, so coming from many countries in Africa, uh, are being trained to give this knowledge to their students. So you have a very vast number. Don Bosco has uh, over 100 vocational schools in 35 countries of Sub-Saharan Africa. In uh, this center, we had teachers of uh, six countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. Now it's the, mostly the West African region. And these teachers take their knowledge into their schools. So the students of the school, the young people, the youth are benefiting. The same thing, it's the students in uh, Sunyani and the students in uh, Bochum get to work on really cutting edge technology and get to develop really hands-on solutions that bring the region, bring a big benefit to the region in terms of electricity, in terms of mobility, in terms of life cycle aspects.